Today, class, we'll be going back to 2020. History class has begun. What happened in 2020? I'm glad you asked. Why was everyone wearing masks? Let's go back to the start. The world was hit by a deadly pandemic. Difficult to understand by any academic. It made you cough, lose your smell and taste. Gave trouble breathing, bluish lips or face. People felt heaviness or pain in the chest. Human resilience and response was put to the test. First there was anxiety and then there was confusion. We couldn't hug, handshake or fist bump until a solution. Schools were closed, leagues were canceled and no one could meet. Social distancing became the new norm. We had to be apart by six feet. We couldn't get in line at concerts, but we stood outside stores. Billions were stuck indoors, finishing Netflix and getting bored. People had to work from home. It was the new normal. We wore sweatpants on Zoom, only the upper half was formal. What's Zoom? Ah, it's a thing. Ah, oh, never mind. People couldn't travel abroad, so they pursued the journey within. People danced on their roofs and bedrooms without any rhythm. People lost their jobs and started to pursue their passions. People used their passions to serve others and make things happen. We started celebrating heroes, like nurses, doctors, and people on the front line. Everyone would clap and cheer to them all at one time. It affected people's wealth and their mental health. But then people started taking care of themselves. They practiced yoga, music, and meditation. They started to support each other across the nation. People raised money for those in need and gave up their salaries. They danced online with the world, and then they danced on their balconies. See, no one saw it coming, and no one could see it leaving, but people became much more grateful just to be breathing. Hundreds of thousands of people died. May they rest in peace. Let's send love to all their loved ones to hope their pain will ease. We deeply understood that our choices affect others. Strangers, lovers, sisters, brothers, fathers and mothers. Rich and poor, the virus did infiltrate. Old and young, the virus didn't discriminate. Oh, Mom. Good job. It showed us we weren't in control and had to be more prepared. We needed to care more for each other and the planet. We had to be aware. It was a warning like no other. Being apart brought us closer together. We finally found ways to use technology for the better. We became more mindful and we started to judge less. We developed kindness and tools for less stress. We led with more love, compassion and empathy. We gave up FOMO, comparison and jealousy. There was an uprising for powerful reasons. People became activists for more than a season. Everyone finally stood up for what they believed in and people were uplifted from how they were treated. Racial injustice was abolished. Power to the people. There were changes everywhere from culture to legal. People realized their mistakes and started to amend. People empathized with the hurt and started to defend. So much pain was experienced in just one year. The pain wasn't welcome, but nothing else could have made the change occur. Pain makes us pay attention. It creates tension, but then makes us question. Not to mention, makes us learn new lessons. History class has ended. You may now take a 30 minute recess. The choices we make now will affect future generations, just like their choices in the past affected our situation. Isn't it great that our ancestors started a revolution so that we can live out their solution? 2020 was the year the world became one nation, so that today we can speak about it in celebration. <laughs>